Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. I'm Jamie and with me as always, Julia Child. Oh! <laughs> bon appetit. I'm learning how to cook. I'm teaching myself the basics. I'm going through this cookbook here, Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. Today, I'm finally gonna make creme brulee. It's been something I've been meaning to make for so long. Now the creme brulee is just like this paragraph in the book. It doesn't look to be like, it's like an official recipe. I can't tell. Because if I go to the other page, it's creme anglaise. And the creme brulee is kind of like connected to that. Make the basic cream exactly like the preceding creme anglaise, but use half the amount of sugar and cream instead of milk. realized I don't have cream. Son of a bitch. Firstly, I need egg yolks, five of them. So let's get cracking. I need a bowl. Okay, egg yolks in. With my trusty egg beater, I'm gonna beat these egg yolks. And then gradually add in the sugar. Two to three minutes. The mixture will turn pale, creamy yellow and thicken enough so that when you lift a little up, it will fall back into the bowl forming a slowly dissolving ribbon. You can see the mixture dissolving into the surface. Beat in optional starch, one teaspoon of corn flour. I might as well. Very gradually pour on the boiling milk. Use cream instead of milk. Is that cream supposed to be boiling? I'm assuming it is. Crank it, cream. Okay, the f okay, now it's come to a boil. Get that off there. Figure out what to do. Very gradually pour on the boiling milk in a thin stream of drops so that the yolks are slowly warm. Drops, just drops. I'm gonna add this mixture back into the frying pan. It's over moderate heat, stirring slowly and continuously with a wooden spoon till the sauce thickens just enough to coat the spoon with a light creamy layer. Maximum temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. This thing is thickening up, it's thickening up, it's thickening up. What's the temperature? Only 90 so far, 90. Keep stirring, it's really thickening up, so just keep stirring. I'm getting nervous about this mixture. I might have just made scrambled eggs. As soon as I added all this onto the heat, it just broke up. It's granular. It's following this recipe exactly, exactly. And now I'm all out of cream. Okay, I understand what's going on better with the online recipe. This one in the book is just kind of confusing at certain points. So the mistake came right at the end because I heated that custard up way too long. So I won't do that again. But besides that, I think everything else went pretty well. Let me just get back to where I was before I screwed up. I'm gonna push fast forward and I'll see you then. I need that open. So never mind what this recipe says about all the temperatures. I'm gonna completely ignore that because the online version didn't say anything about that. Oops. Okay, it is thickened right up. It coats the spoon like uh, gangbusters, but I'm gonna get this off the heat. I don't wanna to go to the store again. Strain the custard through a fine sieve. So one dessert spoon of vanilla extract. In it goes. Two ramekins. How much do I fill up? To the top, I guess. These need to chill completely. Don't forget to cover them with plastic wrap. Now the book says four hours, but they're just in like 
little tiny ramekins. I don't think it's gonna take that long. Okay, so once they've cooled off, the book is kind of gonna leave me high and dry. So I need the um, I need the online recipe to carry me home. So with a spoon and some brown sugar, sprinkle that on top. Maybe just use your hands. Okay, just cover the entire surface. And same goes with this other one. With your favorite blowtorch, um, torch it, I guess, right? Until it's caramelized on the very top. I gotta fill the torch back up. That's better. Keep your distance, you don't wanna burn it. Keep your distance, keep your distance. You gotta be precise. Like a sniper with this thing because it's very easy to burn the sugar because I did on the first one a little bit. I've learned my lesson. Did you hear that? I've been taking photos of it for a bit so it's not as cool as it was when I, when I first started, but uh, I mean, it's gonna taste just as good, right? Let's try. Mm. Are you kidding me? That's the creme brulee. I've been meaning to make that thing for so long and does not disappoint. It's just simple. Like if you've failed once before and then you figured it out the second time, it's simple and um, phenomenal. I loved it. I love everything about it. Okay, so I had some of the creme brulee, leftover creme brulee chilling in the fridge overnight. Let me just show you what it should look like when you're not taking photos of it and it's all like room temperature and everything. This was Jamie and Julia, bon appetit. See you soon.